Each time your students practice on Albert, they're generating data. Whether you're hoping to get a better understanding of questions students have mastered or standards to spiral back into future lessons, Albert Reports are a one-stop shop for integrating data into your classroom. In this video, we'll go over the various report options available to you. Data by assignment is a great option for when you're looking to view individual student performance and class average. It's also great for identifying students who might need to redo an assignment or for viewing standards and questions students have struggled on with individual assignments. Data by student is good for identifying students who may need additional support on specific standards or assignments or for grouping students for remediation or extension. You'll want to look at data by standard when you're searching for specific standards to monitor your students' progress. You can also sort by accuracy to identify standards students have mastered. Data by question is great for identifying questions classes have struggled on or to help you look for patterns in standards or question type. You might even consider using this report to help you build out a most missed question folder for later review. To generate a new data report, click on the Reports tab from the primary navigation bar at the top of your screen. Next, choose the classroom for which you'd like to review data. You'll notice that I'm first taken to a page that will lay out all of my data at a high-level overview. Here, I can see every assignment I've assigned to my students this year. From this view, I can also choose to reassign, edit, share, or delete my assignment by clicking on Actions on the right-hand side. If I'm interested in learning more about a particular assignment, I can drill down to see student performance. I might consider sorting my students by accuracy to best assess who may need to redo an assignment or to group my students to better differentiate. I can also hover my mouse over view submission in order to see an individual student's response. This might be helpful when conferencing with a student to best excavate misunderstandings. I now want to view the questions within this assignment. I'll be able to see all questions included in the assignment. I may once again choose to sort them by accuracy to best understand questions my students have mastered versus questions my students need additional practice with. I can choose to view the question, opening it in a separate tab to model correct thinking, or I could save the question to a most missed question folder to spiral that question back into future practice or to help me make proactive decisions about my instruction next year. Lastly, I can view the standards I assessed in this assignment. If there is a particular standard I'm searching for, I can do so by clicking the magnifying glass. I may notice that there is a standard my students need some additional practice with. I can click Find Questions to find additional questions aligned to that same standard using student data to inform my future instruction. To save your report, click Download Report. This will generate a CSV that can be viewed in Excel or Google Sheets. To share your report with a co-teacher or approved school admin, simply copy and paste the URL. Alternatively, any co-teacher added to your classroom will be able to generate their own data reports. If you have any questions or would like some additional assistance using Albert's reports, don't hesitate to contact our team at success at albert.io.